Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig, bringing you a rundown of today's Apple announcements in this episode of MacMost Now. Steve Jobs took the stage this morning and made some announcements of some new products, the first of which was iTunes version 8, which will be a free update to iTunes. First thing that he mentioned is it's going to have high definition TV episodes for download at a buck more than the standard definition episodes. In addition, NBC is going to return to iTunes. Now, all the NBC shows, including the ones they produced, even if they weren't shown on an NBC station, were removed from iTunes due to dispute between pricing and other things. But all these shows are going to be coming back soon. In addition to that, Jobs talked a lot today about a new feature called Genius. What Genius does is it makes suggestions of music and artists you may like based on the music you've currently selected, the music in your playlist. And it does the same for TV and movies as well. In addition to being in iTunes 8, it's also going to be available on some of the iPod products that we'll talk about next. So there are updates to three parts of the iPod line. And the first part is the iPod Classic, the descendant of the original iPod. Now the iPod Classic is going to go to a single model and it will be 120 gigabytes for $249. But it's going to have the thin form factor of one of the two previous iPod Classic models. Now, as expected, the iPod Nano is getting a major update. It's getting an entire new look. It's going to be thin and it's going to be tall. It's going to have the same exact screen that the current one has, but in a different orientation. So, what's new in it is there's going to be these accelerometers, the same ones that are in the iPhone. So, it can detect when it's turned on its side or turned upright, and it can adjust what the screen looks like according to that. Video will be shown in the wide format. Now, it's also going to be available in a lot of different colors. And the prices are going to be $149 for an 8 gigabyte version and $199 for a 16 gigabyte version. The accelerometers will be used for more than just orientation. For instance, there's going to be a shake to shuffle feature where you can actually shake your iPod Nano and it will skip to the next song. And also the iPod Touch is getting a makeover. It's going to have a thinner design to match that of the iPhone. In addition, it's also going to add volume control on the side and the speaker. And there will also be the built-in functionality for Nike Plus, which basically you put a sensor in your shoe and you can get all sorts of statistics about your running. In addition to that, the new prices are going to be set at $229 for an 8 gigabyte version, $299 for a 16 gigabyte version, and $399 for a whopping 32 gigabytes of storage space. What's even more interesting is there was a lot of talk about games at this event. There were three game demos all using the iPod Touch and a new commercial for the iPod Touch that basically shows it off as a gaming device. So it looked like once and for all Apple is really competing with the Nintendo DS and the PlayStation Portable in the portable game space. Now Jobs also announced iPhone software update 2.1. This is going to get us fewer crashes, better battery life, fewer dropped calls, and also will speed up the backup procedure which happens just about every time you sync your iPhone. Jobs also mentioned some interesting accessories for all these different iPods. One was a microphone for the new iPod Nano that will allow voice recording. This should make it a really useful device, especially for students who can use it to record lectures and such. It looks like a lot of these new devices will be shipping by the end of the week or this weekend, including the software updates. So check them out, and until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.